Should all acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old He's a vampire, and I don't actually know what that means, but maybe it symbolizes that he's on the dark side and that she's pure and he doesn't want to cross over. But it makes sense for the that. Isn't this the New Year's song? Yeah, old Lang Syne. They play it both at New Year's and funerals, which is weird. You are such a geek. <laughs> at least New Year's gets a song. And you don't hear many people singing about Thanksgiving or Easter. Thanksgiving has the uh, turkey song. OK, so Christmas gets a thousand songs. Hanukkah gets a few. Thanksgiving gets one funny song. And New Year's shares a weird and depressing song. I don't think it's depressing. The song is about saying goodbye to the past, about moving on and having closure. I think that's optimistic. Optimistic? Uh, we sing it every year. I think it's more like we're just repeating it over and over and then moving on. I think that you're looking way too deep into the song. Sometimes it's just better to enjoy something for what it is. So, uh, Lacey, how did it come about that you joined our happy little group? The Harrison invited me, and I, I just figured it'd be something different to do for New Year's. Have so you, ever been you just been invited you? Uh, yes, and no. I thought it'd be nice. Guys, okay, so take it easy on the twenty questions with my girlfriend. Girlfriend. Well. I. J I just assume, I don't, I don't know. Sure. Anyway, like I was saying, he doesn't come out during the day. Ah, uh, don't worry, it'll clear up. The weather on the island fluctuates. Scott. What's up? Can we talk for a sec? Come on, man. We don't need to mess with the flow of things, all right? This is not something I can just brush off. OK, look, just chill, all right? We'll powwow, but you got to give me some time on this, man. There's nothing we could do. Government offices are closed until the second. Everybody else is out celebrating. Having... I, don't, I don't care about everybody else celebrating. It's pointless. This thing fell through months ago, and it'll take a while. Just, just give me some more time. Hey, you better not be getting any wine coolers, all right? What are you talking about? I love tasties. No comment.
You know what? You never change. I love being me. Hey, how do you feel about Harrison bringing this new girl? I mean, I'm not saying that she's, like, not nice or anything. I'm sure she is, but shouldn't he have asked before bringing her? He doesn't know any better. What's that supposed to mean? It means he's distracted. Okay, but see, wasn't this trip supposed to bring us all closer together? We still got that. I don't know. I just don't know how we're supposed to reconnect and get to know this girl at the same time. It's just... Okay, are we, um, jealous much? Maybe just smidgen jealousy? Yeah, maybe. I mean, you do know that Harry and I had a thing after we broke up. What are you talking about? <laughs> Psych! Ah, oh, but who's jealous now? You are. Just watch me walk away, but don't get too close. It's hot. It's hot to try. I'm gonna bring this hot butt right into Harrison's room. It's pretty up here in the winter. I imagine in the summer it gets really busy. Yeah, it does, actually. <laughs> yeah. I'd love to see it. You should come back for real. <laughs> I'd like that. I got some uh, shrimp, swordfish, and lobsters. Live lobsters? Yeah, yeah, I got this method. Put some to sleep. Really? Because a pot of boiling water usually does the trick. That's cruel. You don't want to put them in the water awake. At least this way they don't see it coming. place like this. <laughs> One day. Yeah, you gotta be smart for that. And I'm dumb enough to go into business with friends. You went into business with Scott? <laughs> no. Practically, though. I mean, it was just one of those, trust me, I wouldn't let you down things. I'm an idiot. You are not an idiot. I invested my life savings into a stupid development plan. I'm an idiot. Well, what happened to it? I'm in a domain. I don't know. Scott says the government can just take over a lot and build whatever they want. They have to pay for it, right? I don't know. I looked it up, and it's just this legal jargon I don't understand. But they have to compensate you, don't you? I mean, that doesn't seem fair. Fair? Well, it's not fair. C'est la vie. Yeah, we're coming. Talk to Scott. Hey, maybe it's not so bad. He seems like a good guy. Maybe the government has to pay you back or something. I guess. He's just dodging everything. I mean, we came on this trip to, to bridge gaps, not make them. I, I wanted you to meet these guys because they're my best friends in college. I mean, until Scott stole all my money. Well, didn't he lose money, too? Yeah. Scott's got deep pockets. He always finishes on top.
do, we should polar bear. Nah, no. oh, man. <laughs> yes, yes, we should jump ass naked into the water. <laughs> You're nuts. Dude, it's New Year. Tomorrow, we could wash away our sins <sighs> to a clean slate. I don't know, man. Harry, you should do it. All right, all right, let's do this. Let's do this, all right? Lacey? <laughs> Jen? Nope. No, not a chance. All righty. If you ladies don't mind holding our clothing. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. No. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't believe you're doing this. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Neighbors? Uh, sort of. Nobody's there. People usually just come out during the summer, but there may be one or two locals. Other than that, we're all alone. <laughs> Joey, hey. It's God. Guys, this is Joey. He uh, pretty much looks after the place when my parents aren't around. Came by to turn on the hot water and the heat before you got here. Ah, thank you. Hey, if you're free for New Year's, feel free to stop by for a drink, man. Thanks, dude. Oh, creepy McCreepers. You lay them down, and you stroke their back, and you hum. Mm -hmm. You are nuts. It's not nuts. It's humane, OK? You just put them to sleep before you put them in the water. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if I can eat lobster. Why? Because you have to watch it get cooked? Yes. <laughs> and I've just never had one before. Never? Just didn't have the chance growing up. Well, don't you worry. We'll take care of you. <coughs> you doing okay? No! You, you still look pretty. No, I don't! Okay. No, don't say that, okay? You're not. Hey, thought this might help. Thanks. <sighs> oh. <sighs> <laughs> so then I asked her if she was taking the express or the limo. <laughs> you did not <laughs> yeah, liar. Uh, uh, she no. practically 
through her. Oh my god! That's how you guys met? No, not even close. Pretty much. <laughs> no. Okay, wait. He did bring me to the dorm room. Yes. All right. But then when I got there, I got out of the car and I was like, "Thank you for the ride." Mm -hmm. And he was all like, "Hey, what? I don't, I don't get a kiss or nothing or like, uh, uh." <laughs> you could tell when I turned around and looked at him that he thought that giving me a ride was a guarantee that we were gonna hook up. I mean, isn't it? <laughs> it wasn't. No. Usually? It's not. Yeah. Usually. <laughs> I, just turned, I just turned around and I just gave him the finger like this. Boom. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you know you like it. Well, you guys seem very close, even though you broke up. <laughs> well, <clears throat> it is a continuously evolving relationship that we have. Is it? Mm-hmm. Mm. So, tell me about you guys. Us? Come on. You should be. It was sweet. Sweet? Yes, it was. We met at a continuing professional development for teachers networking night. Hmm. What? What is that? <laughs> yeah. No, to be a teacher, I have to stay current on teaching materials, and the state requires me to attend these seminars once a year. We met at the networking event between seminars. Okay. I have to get my company's name out there, because then that'll raise the chances somebody will recommend me. There's just coffee and cookies. Coffee, tea, and cookies. Nobody ever says tea and cookies. What? Mm. Never mind. Uh. Anyway, <laughs> Harry was serving the coffee and tea Thank you. to all of the people that came, and I thought that was really nice. We started talking? He talked a lot about paper. It's what I do. <laughs> Sounds like Harry. And then he asked me to dinner. What a charmer. Isn't that special? Mm. Well, here we are now. I mean, it's, it's nothing as romantic as how you guys met. Oh, be nice. He did get me this. Oh. Mm-hmm. That's pretty. Oh. Well, if we could get ourselves cleaned up, I have a surprise for you. Cold. I don't think I want to stay out here very long. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey. Uh, hey. <sighs> Brilliant idea outside of the freezing tundra. Ha! <laughs> it's good for your health. Me, man, make big ass fire with wood and lighter fluid. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. Hey, Jen, that's that's really good. Think? I don't know, I just kind of threw it together. Oh, definitely. Harrison said you were in law school, right? Um, yeah, yeah. My, uh, my parents wouldn't have been too thrilled if I'd picked something that didn't have a little more stability. I never told anyone, but I think I kind of want to open up an art gallery. I knew. No, I see, knew. oh my gosh, no. You knew that I sketched, but you didn't know that I wanted to open up a gallery. I don't know. I mean, I just don't know how my parents would feel about it, you know? You still ride you like that? No, no, it's not that. Yeah, I mean, it's just that we kind of moved around a lot because my dad was a, a mechanic in the military. And uh, I, know, I just think that my, my mom wanted something a little more stable for my brothers and me. I feel ya. Well. So, uh, so Harry, how's the, um, how's the business venture going? You just thinking about expanding? Now, uh, it's on hold at the moment due to lack of resources. Okay, well, uh, you're pretty resourceful. I'm pretty sure you'll find them. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna pick a few bills off of my money tree and back to business. Could I have some marshmallows? Sure. So, I know this may sound cheesy, but I would like to make a toast to dreams. Because without dreams, we would just be ordinary creatures on this earth. Who said that? Uh, nobody. I'm just kind of deep like that, you know? Stupid. <laughs> mm. <laughs> ah. Um. A toast to the beauty around us 
and to the memories that will last forever. And dreams within us. Mm. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Um, a toast to a different kind of New Year's. Uh, it may be cold. Lacey may be allergic to everything. But it's good to get away from uh, the stresses of life. Here, here. Here, here. I, uh... <laughs> um... To... To the struggle for happiness. Well, we should, uh... Be headed back. Weather's a bit much. All right, well, you guys stay warm. Good night, Scotty. Good night. Good night, Jen. Good night. So. Thinking. That we'd take advantage of the lull in the evening? Yes. So what were you thinking about? <laughs> hey, you know, mm. maybe, uh, maybe it was a mistake us breaking up. Yeah? Yeah. You know, you say that every time you don't have a girl on your arm. I know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is hard for me. Okay. No. Scott, come on. Stop. Hey, look, a boy can dream, oh, right? Yeah. Well, the last time I checked, you were the one who broke up with me. Oh, come on. Hey, look. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. I don't know. All right, go. No, shh. Go. 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 That noise freaked me out. Come on. Go check it out. Please. Okay, you know what? I'll go check the noise out because my baby girl is scared, okay? Mm-hmm. Wish I still was your girl. Yeah. Um, I, I guess I'm not ready. We've been going out for a month now. I, I know. I... It's just, it's... It's been a while for me. And I thought that I was ready, but you don't understand. Well, help me understand. Lacey, please help me. My father wasn't a nice man. Okay. You have a very not nice man. And he was... What about your mom? Did she... She wasn't around. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring up stuff that you didn't want to deal with. It isn't, it isn't my place. One day. Just not now. I'm not ready. 
I understand. go get a drink of water. You want anything? No, thanks. Give us maybe 20. 30 minutes. 30, 40 minutes. I, uh, was just getting some. Yeah, we were too, actually. Yeah. <clears throat> Can you cut the lights out? Please. Thank you. Yeah. Come on. Why are you? to ask you how reconnecting with old friends is going. <laughs> Dick. You back to old tricks? Huh? Eh, just having a little fun. Did Jen know that? Of course, she's a big girl. Runaway train. Okay. What was that supposed to mean? Train wreck. I'm, I'm referencing a train wreck because that's what this is going to turn into. Dude, come on. That's not even fair. Fair? Not fair is convincing your friend of, of a great investment, and then when he loses 25 grand, blowing him off and telling him to chill. Dude, you're a businessman. You know the risk. I told you before, the government compensates. Give or take. Give or take? Yeah, can we talk about this later? Please. No, man, this is my life, OK? We can't just talk about this later. We need to you know, figure out how to solve the situation. So does, so does give or take mean I get my money back or not? Dude, I thought we were cool. We're cool. We, we're cool. But coming on this trip doesn't just put water under the bridge and wash away our sins. You may be a snake oil salesman to everyone else, but I'm not an idiot. Snake oil. OK, look, you're blowing this way out of proportion, all right? We're talking about money, paper, digital ticks, and a bank computer. OK, well, these digital ticks mean something to me. You know what? Whatever. Oh, really, dude? Really? That's mature. Snake oil. Hey, what is going on with you guys? What's going on with you guys? Nothing. We're just doing our own thing. I'm sorry I ruined dinner last night. You didn't ruin dinner. You're just apparently not unallergic to shellfish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Why do we come on this trip? I don't know why I agreed to this. Because you can't make new old friends, Harry. We haven't been real friends for months, okay? I see how he treats you, right. everyone, and there just comes a point. All right, okay, look, I know you don't mean that. This is why I usually spend New Year's alone. Because of allergies? No. New Year's are just never good. Uh, no, don't say that. New Year's can be good. Just wait. You're a good guy, Scott. For sure. <sighs> you want some? Yeah, I'll try. Okay. Just because you're in love with him again doesn't mean I'm his best friend well, again. I am not in love with him. Okay, he messed with your head before and, and you keep forgiving him. No, listen, I am not forgiving him, all right? I'm not naive, all right? I know what I'm doing. A girl can play the other side too. <coughs> you all right? That's the good stuff. You're pretty cool yourself, Miss Lacey. Thanks. You're welcome. This shit will kill you! Wow, that's mature. Oh, fuck you, man. You think you just waltz around and take whatever you want? Look, you set Ben at the wrong time. Yo, windows everywhere! Guys, Look, come man! On. No, stay out of this! Look, you saw the wrong thing, man. Just trust me. Listen, trust you, trust chill you. Chill out! Chill out! <laughs> chill? Huh? Hey, hey, hey! Oh, Tom, you didn't make out with my girlfriend, doing? huh? Look, you need to cool the fuck off, man. Wait a minute, you made out with Lacey? No! <laughs> Fucking piece of shit! Look, I did not kiss her! I saw you kiss her with my own eyes. You were such a liar. Steal both my money and my girl? Look, I lost money too, okay? You think it's easy for me to ask my parents for money because somehow I failed? Look, I will fix this stuff, okay? Yeah, well, I'll, I'll believe it when I see it. Look, can you believe that? Don't you even think about looking at me! Jen! Not a chance! I'm sorry. Not now. Out walking. Where's Scott? I don't know. I don't know if I really care. Well, did you see him? Yeah, yeah, we were hanging out. We're besties now. Oh, come on, Harry. What? I'm worried about him. He's a big boy. He can take care of himself. Come on, I think that we should go look for him. He probably just needed some time to cool off. Well, it's been a while. I just got back. Well, it's unlike him. Oh, so you know him well again. Harry, listen, did you see him or not? No. It, maybe it would be smarter if we just waited here. Well, he probably would have gone to the beach. You think? He can take care of himself. Okay, you know what? I know that you guys are having your issues and everything, but this trip is for us too. Please. Give him a call. There's no fucking service on this island. Harry. Fine. Thank you. It, would, would it be all right if I stay here? You know, just in case Scott comes back? Yeah, that'd, that'd be great. 
You and Scott. Harry. We'll be back in 45 no matter what. Okay. not getting any warmer. You know, I have a New Year's resolution for you, Harry. Yeah? Stop being an ass. Hey. Hey. Everything uh, okay? Yeah, I just, I didn't, I didn't like being all alone. Is it okay if I join you? Yeah. Anything sure. yet? No. No, just woods and twigs and cold. Oh, oh there's a leaf. I write at least five New Year's resolutions every year in my journal. I already gave Harrison one. Two of less douchebag friends. Dude, what are you doing? Uh, coming up with another resolution. Let's find this idiot. Switchboard or something. Wait, there's a circuit breaker in my bedroom. It's all just circuits. I don't know how to tell if the phone has a switch or not. The box has got to be outside. How do you know there's a box? I know, it just seems like there would be one, right? There always is. I don't. I don't know how to repair a phone line. <sighs> Baby, don't cry. Look, I'll fix this. How is this gonna be okay? I don't know, I don't know what to do. Okay, this is stupid. We have a car, why don't we just drive for help? Try and get up. We have to go get help. Uh, Harry, take care of her. Uh, trying. Uh, battery is connected and the radiator the, no the oh distributor cap distributor cap is located um fuck is that the, what what the, the, the main battery fuse is gone wait is it blown no it's gone 
Well, find another one, okay? Let's just get a spare or no, whatever. You, you can't you, find another one. There aren't any spares. Okay, well, where'd it go? We drove all the way down here. Where, Where is it? Someone took it. What do you mean someone took it? With, without the main battery fuse, this car won't start. Someone took it. We can, we... Someone killed Scott. It doesn't happen. Somebody killed Scott. Who would kill Scott? I mean, they're gonna kill us. No, 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 they aren't, okay? Yeah, how do you know, Harry? How do okay, you know? Okay, stop asking me that. I don't know, I don't know. Just give me a second. Okay? There's a killer on the loose and you want a second? God, we're gonna die. Okay, we're no, gonna die. no, we're, we're not gonna, gonna die, okay? We're not gonna die. We just, we, um, we have to get inside of the house. to the house. It's safer here. All right, well, we have to lock the rest of these doors and check all the rooms. You want me to come with? No, you take care of Lacey. Hold on. Uh, oh, I'll try. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, 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 hey, we have to check the upstairs. Uh, I should stay with Lacey. No, you, you should go with Jen. Two is better than one. I'll, I'll be fine. Okay. We'll fix you up when we get back. Okay. Everything okay upstairs? Yeah. You know, we should um we should probably fix Lacey up. She is a hindrance. Hey, careful you talk to her. I'm just saying that I think we should fix her up. I saw some medical supplies in the bathroom earlier. You know, I really don't think we should have come back to the house. There's just way too many windows. We'll move into the kitchen. Oh, we're gonna die. We're not gonna die. Stop saying that. Okay, baby, you gotta keep positive, okay? We're gonna get through this. Thank you. So, um, you know, with these lights on in here, I think it'd be easier for the killer to see us. You wanna turn off the lights? Look, Jen's right, okay? We're being dark outside, and the light's on in here. Anyone can see us, okay? I mean, we're sitting ducks. Turn off the lights? Then we're sitting in the dark, in the dark. I know, but if we turn the lights on outside and off in here, then we'll be able to see everything. I mean, nobody can sneak up on us. It's a good idea. I don't know about this, guys. I mean, then they'd be able to see what house we're in. It's probably that fucked up groundskeeper. He's already messed up the car and he knows what house we're in. All right, well, we need to hide, okay? Because if this killer has a gun, we need to be a little bit more invisible. If the killer has a gun, he would have shot us already. Okay, don't think like that. We gonna get the lights? Yeah.
We stay here till the sun comes up, and we make a run for it. Together. Well, what if there's more than one of them? We have to be prepared for that. Well, let's hope there's only one. Yeah, hope. That's not helping. You're right. It's only a few more hours until sunup, and all we have to do is stay put until dawn. You can't just wait around. What are you talking about? There's a house next door. Okay, they probably have a phone that works. I can go call help. Wait a minute. Earlier you said that you wanted us to stay put. Now you want to go run around in the dark and play hero? It's worth a shot. Is it? I mean, it's probably the same phone line as his house. Or someone cut our phone line and they have a phone that works. What about the killer? What if he sees you? Look, I'll just, I'll leave the flashlight here and I can turn the lights on outside and sneak out. You're not a superhero, Harry. Whatever, I'm doing this. I can do this. Harrison, you shouldn't go. Harry, listen to your girlfriend. It would be stupid for us to split up like this. I have to do something. I can't just sit here. Turn the lights on after I leave. I'll be back in 15 minutes. He'll show up. I hope so. How long has it been? A while. Do you think you made it over there? Yes. Yeah. Probably. I just really want this night to be over. Me too. How's, uh, how's your ankle? Uh, it's, it's fine. It still hurts a lot, but the taping helps. Listen, I'm, I'm sorry if I came across as a little distant yesterday. I just, I've just been having a really bad end of the year and it might take me a while to get used to new faces. You don't have to apologize. I feel like I should apologize for intruding on your guys' trip. No. no, it's okay. It's nice to have another female in the group. I'll be right back. Lacey? Do we lock this door? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't either. Maybe Harrison did? Be careful. You guys should have locked the door behind me. Well, you going outside in the dark was stupid. What took you so long? It was harder to get there than I thought it would be. I couldn't see anything, and I had to deal with the bushes and thorns. Did the phone work? No, I broke a window and climbed in, but everything was off. Did you find anything? Too hard to see. All right. It was well, just dead. OK, well, now that you've gotten trying to be a hero out of your system, can we all just stay put for the night? 
Yeah, of course. I was just trying to help. Hey, do you guys think when we get out of here that we're gonna be best friends for the rest of our lives? I've never had Why a good- Why would you say that? Well, you read all these stories about people who go through traumatic stuff together, like being stuck in an elevator or a plane crash, and, and everything they went through galvanizes them all together more than any other bond. Well, we're not stuck in an elevator. Yes. I know that. I was just saying, I think that good things can still come from the bad. Weren't you saying earlier that we should all be optimistic? No, Harrison said that. Besides, it's just cheerleading stuff you tell people to make them feel better. It doesn't really mean anything. Why are you so callous about everything? Why do I feel like I'm more broken up about Scott's death than you are? <laughs> oh, gosh. Please, give me a break, Barbie. How do you know Scott was going to be at the beach? Because Scott likes the beach. It's like the logical thing to do. Where else would he go? Down the fucking road? Mm, maybe the pond? You know, if anybody here is the unknown, it's you. I don't know who the fuck you are. Careful. What, are you gonna defend her, Harry? Yes. Well, where were you when Scott got fucking killed? I was out walking down in the woods. Oh, the woods, not the beach. No. Oh, how convenient. Where were you? Here. Oh, yeah, I was home alone. Uh, nobody could verify my alibi, officer, but I swear. Harry, what's my motivation? You're the one who wouldn't let him breathe before you jumped down his throat about your money thing every chance you had. Okay, who's the one who knows about cars? How'd you know about the battery oh, use? Come on, who's the one who started to fight with him before he got killed, huh? Who was that? Uh, you act like nothing happened? Okay, just before he died, you caught him kissing another girl. Why were you and Scott kissing? It was a big mistake. No shit, Sherlock. Look, I, I don't know why I did it. It never should have happened. Why you did it? Wait, you kissed Scott? I thought Scott kissed you. Well, I thought that he w I don't know what was going through my mind. Who's to say you didn't kill Scott? In a jealous rage because he rejected you? Hey, hey, that's my girlfriend. Some girlfriend. Lacey? It was one stupid kiss. A stupid, stupid kiss. Look, I've never had my own group before, and you guys were just so inviting. It was just a stupid impulse. It wasn't even an impulse. Like, I like you guys a lot. I never wanted to do anything to mess that up. I never meant for any of this to happen, and I wish it never had. But it did. Maybe you did it. Maybe Harry did it. Maybe there's somebody outside waiting for us to slip up and then kill us off one by one. Maybe there's a whole bunch of them. I don't know! I can't take this. I gotta go lay down. I'll be in our room. Happy New Year, by the way. We missed it. Lacey, we shouldn't split up. We should stick together. You need a flashlight? I'll be fine. 
I'm used to the dark. up here. What the fuck, Harrison? Are you going crazy? Get off of me. Not until you tell me what you're doing sneaking around. I was looking for a satellite phone, okay? I thought that I thought that Scott had one. I was just trying to get his help. Bullshit. Okay, if there was a phone, why didn't you mention it earlier? Harrison, clear your fucking mind, man. You're going crazy. I'm not going crazy, okay? I'm just watching my back. Stop it. You're hurting me. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't. We're friends. Yes, we are. We'll get through this. Sun will be up in three to four hours. Hold it together. So I just finished dating this guy. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he cheated on me. Sounds like a great relationship. I got that call from the other girl. She called you? Mm-hmm. Sylvia or Sylvia, some trash name like that. That's direct. Yeah, she got my number from Ryan's cell. Shit. So she tells me that, um, that she feels sorry for me because of what Ryan's doing to me. Not what she's doing to you. No, of course not. So? Well, I asked him to his face. And he lied to you? No. <laughs> no, he tells me that he, um, that he doesn't love me anymore, that the, uh, that the flame died out, some cliche bullshit like that. So, um... So I just punched him in the balls and then dropped him off at the emergency room. Damn. <laughs> I'm gonna go check on Lacey. Lacey. Lacey! Jen! You locked all the windows? Yes, I locked all of them. Okay, then why was it open? You leave it unlocked for your apartment, you sick fuck? All right, I did not kill Scott, and I have no reason to kill Lacey. You're the one with all the motive. I didn't kill Scott, okay? I'm not an idiot. I may have been angry, but I'm not gonna kill someone over money. Fine, well then, we must have someone else out here, and they've got Lacey. Okay, then we need to find her.
Happy New Year. Scott around? Uh, no, Scott's not here right now. Yeah, well, of course he's not. What about that pretty little blonde? You don't know. What are you doing here so late? Scott invited me up for a drink. It's way past midnight. Well, your lights were on. I figure somebody's up. You have a cell phone? I don't carry those cancer machines. You have a home phone that works? No. But you know, the insulation is not what it used to be. How about I make you fire? It's more romantic. So, how are you guys liking the vineyard this time of year? Great. Yeah, well, makes you appreciate the sound of silence. So how about that drink? Never mind, I carry my own anyway. So, here's to making it to next year. And to surviving another year in this cruel world. from the cold. Joey. Yeah? Do you live alone? Sort of. Down the road a piece. Used to have a wife. She's not there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and now, you know, I remember Scott when he was just a little kid. He was the biggest pain in my ass. Always moving my tools, hiding. Jumping out at me. <laughs> well, not anymore. <sighs> what are you doing with my poker there? Let me have it. Shit! What? Did you, he was gonna, he was gonna... To what? Stoke the fire? No, it's gotta be him. Uh, I don't know. Yes, okay, no, no, just, just, he was asking about Lacey and Scott. It was him. Was it? Yes, okay, now check if he's unconscious. Just... He's dead. Dead? <laughs> no, fuck, no! No, he's not... I didn't, I didn't, I didn't mean to kill him. Okay, I didn't, I just wanted to stop him before he kills us, okay? It may not even have been him! It, it was him, okay? It was him! Lacey! Lacey! Oh, God! Oh, God, Lacey! <laughs> In my room, and I uh, not stop him. I tried his hands on me, but it's, it's too strong. I, I wanted to scream, but I, no one helps me. Hey, hey, I should have been there, mate. I should have been there. I'm sorry. I wanted to say no, but nothing came out. I, I to run away. I, I can't run away. I never run. I got away. You got away. <laughs> you got him. We got him? That's the one that grabbed me. That's him. He can't hurt you anymore. No. 
No, he can't. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay now. Come on, let's get you cleaned up. understand why he would do this. He could have just snapped. You heard what he said about his wife. He was probably out here all alone. No one even really caring about him. Are you sympathizing with him? No. I'm just, I'm just trying to understand. Okay, he killed Scott. I mean, he took Lacey, probably planning to carve her up or some messed up thing. I know, but we just killed someone too. It's just, just not the way that I imagine ringing in the new year. We didn't want to. That doesn't change the fact. We had to. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we, we did what we had to do to survive. Yeah. Right? As soon as the sun comes up, we are out of here. I'm gonna go upstairs and change. Is there anything I can do to help? Uh, I just want all of this behind me. Yeah, I could do without these memories. New Year's are always bad. Are you really all right? I mean, you sure? You, you can talk to me. I'm very good at repressing things. Okay. Well, I'm here if you want to talk. I killed him. I had to. I mean, he had you. When you went missing, I... I thought I lost you. I, for some reason, I knew you were alive. I don't know why, I just, maybe it was me hoping or I just couldn't imagine not having you. I can't believe the insanity of that guy. I mean, what gets me is he comes through the window even though he has keys. I mean, that's a sick fuck. Jen must have messed up. The window must not have been locked. I should have been there with you. I, I should have protected you. I I'll be there with you in the future and I'll... I love you. This isn't what it looks like. 
<laughs> you have the wrong idea. Harrison went crazy. He killed Scott. He killed Joey. He was trying to kill me. I didn't do this. I wouldn't do this. Not again. I'm innocent. Scott was an accident, I'm sure. This isn't me. Come out so I can explain. Come out so I can explain! I didn't do this. This isn't me. Do it already.
Change.